Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, City Skylines After Dark. I am, of course, the Conflict Nerd, and today we're back at Nerdyside International Airport, which has suddenly got a lot smaller if you look at the uh, district there. Yeah, that's because I needed to put a very specific policy on those two sets of roads. So now we have Nerdyside International Airport, the terminal and not really the runways, but that's fine, and Crapple Island. Crapple Island, because my new company in Software Inc. is called Crapple, and I thought, hey, I'll plug that series while I'm here. So, you know, there's that out of the way. Anyway, I have made a couple of small changes to the way things work over here, in that we now have this sort of looping mess of a, a road that deals with the traffic coming from the airport. I'm gonna- this is temporary. I know it's an absolute eyesore. It is, uh... Wow, that's... That's interesting. Uh, it's very temporary, uh, because traffic is just having, well, it's not having a good time at all. Uh, and that's because I didn't actually make a proper highway connection to the airport, so that's kind of my bad, and we'll deal with that when we can deal with that. Uh, something else I have done, though, is sort of finished off this island and put some districts in. And uh, you'll notice... All the vehicles using this are sort of having a bad time. I need to fix some things here and there. It's generally not an amazing layout, which is why I haven't bothered going in and doing all the detailing that I'd like to do. I have done a little bit of detailing here just to sort of mask the ugly here. But uh, I would like to at some point go in and put in loads of detail in the same way I did with the airport. And uh, speaking of the airport, we obviously need to connect some trains to it as well, which would probably help with a lot of the traffic problems that we're having. But we will get to that at uh, some point, because this particular episode, I would like to focus on getting some kind of uh, dock in here. And that's actually going to be a little bit tricky because of the way the docks work in City Skylines, which is uh, they have connected roads. And that really annoys me because I tested this and I had this really interesting idea that just will not work because of the connected roads on the docks. So that's kind of, uh, kind of annoying. What's, uh, what's also kind of annoying is that I'm going to have to delete this entire area because, uh, I need all of this space for the docks. This really shouldn't be, this is all currently housing. Uh, it probably shouldn't be. That was, that was a bit of a mistake on my part. We'll just go ahead and clear all of these guys. I'm also deciding I'm probably not going to bother time-lapsing all of this. I will maybe time-lapse some stuff this episode, but I realize uh, the last two have started with time-lapses, possibly. I think. I don't know. I know there's a thing at the start of this one, but it's not a time-lapse. Either way, this one's potentially not going to have a time-lapse because I want to show you the tedious work that goes into doing this. So... I suppose, let us begin by lowering some terrain, because we need to get right down to the water's edge with this, so even lower. Also, shout out to AquagamerTV on Twitter, who reminded me that uh, you can set the prices of your terraforming to be free, which is kind of super useful, so that's uh, much appreciated there. Let me just raise this terrain up a little bit. That's a little bit... Uh, Little bit too low for the docks. That's a bit of a better height. Okay, so I'm thinking that is... That's a pretty good height for the land for docks. So what I'd like to do is just get rid of these. And then do a little bit of road coming off of here. By about that much and down to... There. I'm not too keen on that connection, to be honest. Uh, but I need it there so I can measure this out properly. Otherwise, this is going to look very silly. So, uh, we'll take that to there, and this is going to go right against the road, because, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know, I just like having these sort of big, flat cliffs. It makes it look much more, uh, man-made, which this particular area should. This is going to be a very, uh, properly industrial space, so we want it to look, uh, incredibly man-made around here. So let's just go ahead and even all of this out. There we go. Uh, and just bring the terrain out a little bit. Uh, the reason I'm deciding to cut away at the island is because when I did this before, I managed to flood this entire sort of low uh, sunken avenue there when I, I tried this before. So I really want to try and avoid flooding that again. So 
probably probably for the best. Let's just uh, smooth this out a little bit. Doesn't need to be a sharp edge there. Uh, this probably doesn't need to be quite as sharp either, so we'll smooth that a little bit out too, just to make it look kind of nice. And we'll just do it a little bit, a little bit of uh, rough smoothing there as well, just to make it look a little bit more natural on this side. Uh, I will actually go ahead and cut away at some of the terrain there, just so the water sort of looks like it's maybe chopped away at some rocks or something. You know, a little bit of erosion's gone on here, and you want to uh, you want to show that just a little bit. So we'll do that as well. That should. Uh, that should work. Okay, so now what we need to do is basically measure out some uh, some space. And I also really need to get rid of the zoning on those roads because that's going to look horrendous. Uh, so let's get rid of all of that. And uh, I guess what we, like I said, we need to measure this out. So uh, if I go from here to, actually, if I go from there to there... And then I use a different road type and do the final block. Is that... Is that a... That is a bus stop. What? That's interesting. Uh, so if we do that and then go two blocks this way and a block out. I want to go two blocks this way and a block out. And I want to go two blocks this way. And a block out. And then use the different type of road there. Different... Ah, that's not going to work. So we do need to extend the land just a little bit. Shouldn't cause too many problems. I can't imagine the water is going to rise up all that far. So we should be okay with this. I'm hoping this works. I really am. Uh, in fact, it might be a better idea to use a different type of road, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's go one block that way and one block that way. Okay, so now what I want to do is... I want to bring the terrain right back. But the easiest way to do that might actually be to measure this completely differently. So... If I go from there to there and sort of do the same there, that should be a reasonable measure uh, for me to lower the terrain by. So if I do this and sort of fill out that space and lower it. Come on, let me lower it a little more. There we go. That's what I want. No, lower it down. There we go. Okay, so if we do that and then select that height and sort of smooth all this out, that should be... A decent enough space for me to work with if I then get rid of that second road I'm hoping I don't know if this will actually work but if we get rid of this can I go ahead and put a cargo terminal or harbor just on the end of that road is it gonna let me I don't think it is uh, this is being very annoying though this particular oh the, the water needs to flow in there first bugger. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. I could probably smooth this out just a little bit more. If I just bring it to sort of there, back to there. I, I can probably make this work. I reckon. We'll see. If I just, I need to be really precise with my terraforming and it should be fine. So if we do that and let the water flow in, we should be able to put a cargo harbor in there. That's the hope, at least. Okay, this hasn't turned out exactly how I wanted it to, but it's sort of getting there. This area is going to have some uh, generic industrial zoning in it. This area is probably going to be something similar. Uh, and then I'm hopefully going to get another dock in here, because I don't know that I necessarily want this train line here. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it, to be honest. Because uh, there's nowhere I can really connect this without sort of having to uh, take it the whole way around. And over this way, which would be kind of a bit of a ridiculous journey uh, for the train lines to do. But it might end up being worth it. I don't know. We will uh, we will absolutely see how that goes. Do I have backed up trains? No. That's okay. As long as we don't have backed up trains, we're fine. Also going to set it to daytime just to uh, make it easy to see. Nothing's flooded around here. We are all good on that front. Which is uh, always nice. I think we'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of office zoning there just to fill out that space, and uh, it might be worth just having a look to see if I can uh, sort of. If I upgrade this, it's going to turn into a bridge, which is really not what I wanted to do. So let's go ahead and just connect this to. That's going to be a bridge if I do that. That's interesting. Uh, let's connect this to there using anarchy and then bring this down 
to there, and that's going to be a bridge if I do that. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let me turn off segment snapping so I can do this properly and bring this down to there and connect to there, and then we get rid of this bit. So that, I suppose, can be our dock in a way. If I just even the terrain out a little bit here, we can get one more road across there. And uh, I'll even the terrain down this way as well, so we can get a road down to there. And I'm hoping that I can make this work. Because I really want to. I want to have that go to there. I don't want that to connect, but I want to be able to uh, measure it correctly. Uh, have that go to it there. Can that go one further? It can't. That's fine. So have it like that. I could probably take that over one more, to be honest. If I go from there... Come on, let me connect. No, no, no. Let me connect there. And bring this up like that. Get rid of this little bit because it's kind of in the way. Connect those. We get a decent space in there. So we now have these two spaces which will let me uh, do what I want to do. So if we just lower that down. That's going to be a little bit tricky for ships to navigate. But I think they'll be okay. Uh, do all the same in here. Cut this all away. Uh, this I may actually... As much as I really want to get another uh, shipping dock thing in here, cargo dock, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, as much as I want to get another one in here, I'm actually looking at this and considering not bothering because of just how much trouble it's going to be to uh, actually get that to work. Also, it'd be really nice if I could connect these roads. It just will not let me without doing a bridge, and that's kind of incredibly annoying. Uh, I don't know why they would do a bridge there. But uh, it seems to really want to do a bridge there. And uh, there doesn't seem to be much I can do about it. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Never mind. That's, uh, that's that solved. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Although that is somewhat hideous and needs to be fixed. So let's just even out the terrain a little bit more there. To uh, make that work. Let's just lower that as well. Uh, there we go. So this should now go straight back without too many problems. There we go, much better. Now we smooth it out to uh, make it look nice and pretty along that edge. There we go. Smooth that out just a little bit to uh, get rid of some of the jagged edges there. It won't really get rid of all of them, but it'll get rid of a few. Uh, just make that a little bit, a little bit better looking. There we go. That's uh, certainly interesting looking, and I do realize there is no connection to... Uh, any of this yet and I also realize I really should get a way to mask this all better rather than planning to use trees which is my current idea but uh, I mean if I use this can I it won't actually let me do that which is disappointing because that would work really well but uh, apparently apparently it doesn't want to let me do that okay well that's fine how the hell did they get in here that's that's a very good question also you will have spotted this this is another mod I have. It's uh, more beautification. Which will uh, basically let me put down various items. As you can see, I can do uh, loads of industrial stuff. We've got decorative stuff in here if I really want it. Such as the, uh, the train station display. We have uh, shopping carts. Yeah, we've got... Uh, We've got all sorts in here. What the hell's this? A trash pile. Okay. Got some uh, Wi-Fi antennas. We got some radio masts. We got some uh, microwave antennas. Parking spaces. What else have we got? Well, this is all decorative stuff for houses. So this is a uh, swimming pool of some description. That's old asphalt. That would actually be really useful. This tiling and stuff would be super useful because I can... Oh, no. It goes... Over the footpath, that's kind of disappointing. The hell's this yard tiles? Yeah, this would be useful if it didn't go over the uh, the roads like that. That would be nice. The hell's this random rooftop access? Maybe not. I can also do lighting. Which, uh, by the way, I actually used over here and will show you. I need to be nighttime though. Uh, I put three of those down here. Like so. And I put a couple of flashing ones just here as well because I thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, but another example of those assets that I've used is with these. I put some billboards along the entrance to the 
airport and did the same on uh, this side as well, just a little bit. Because uh, I thought that looked relatively decent. Also, this area is filling out, which is kind of nice. The whole area is filling out, which is, uh, which is pretty good. But what's most important right now is finding a good connection for this area and doing that during the day. Uh, here definitely works. I could definitely get something there. But uh, it would be super nice to get a connection just there and sort of have it be all sharp and stuff. But it's not going to let me do that at all. Uh, something that is totally an option, technically speaking, would be to do a bridge off of there. Like, that is totally a thing that can be done if I do this sort of thing, like, go up like that. Although that's a bit of a weird angle. Uh, I would much rather it didn't do that. That's very strange indeed. Uh, is that about the right height? Like, what would have to be the right height on this, if I went, to, if I wanted to go, turn off the snapping. So if I wanted to go there and make that flat, that has to be 24. Is pretty much what that needs to be. So if I did that, and then I come down to there. Can I make that work? Like it's that doesn't look too ridiculous, does it? Like it's an interesting look. It's, it's a little bit silly, but it is a connection. And I could do the same over here as well. So, go from there to there. Have the height be 24, and then slope it down to that point. Like, those are legitimate connections. Albeit silly ones, but they, they work. I might, I might go with this. Uh, if we go to 24 again, I can change the pillars as well using the Network Skins mod, but... That's not terrible looking. That one's a little bit more steep than the other ones, but I like it. I kind of like that. I'm going to have to use uh, a lot of little asset. I also realize I've completely cut off that train line, which is a little bit less than ideal. That is, uh, that's not quite what you want to be doing there. Maybe I should find a way to make that train line work first. Let's see. I just... There's no way it's going to let me just run it over the uh, the road, is there? I could use Anarchy to do it, but that looks uh, a little bit silly. Uh, I could also use Anarchy to uh, do... Oh, no, it won't actually let me do that. Okay, well, <laughs> I think that might be a little bit problematic then, the fact that I've pretty much cut off the train line. How could we... Uh... I mean, I guess realistically I could cut some of this away and sort of have the train line go in under there that's not all that realistic it's fine i'm gonna i'm gonna ignore the train line for now i will come back to that because i sort of need to come up with an idea for it so let's let's ignore the train line just for now i'm also gonna get rid of this because i don't like that one i uh i'm also gonna do the cold white street lights there oh that's a bloody bridge that is not what i want that is absolutely not what I want there. Let's uh, raise that up properly. And do the good old cold white street lights from... Give me segment snapping. There to there. There we go. All right, much better. Let's go ahead and put in the... Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want you zoning on that avenue. There we go. So that should be fine. Uh, we'll do some industrial zoning in there. Which should certainly look... Interesting, albeit a little bit silly. Uh, do a little bit of industrial zoning down there as well. And uh, I guess just let this bit fill out and see what happens. Because I'm very curious to see if these connections actually end up working. I sort of have my doubts, but it would certainly be interesting. I'm also going to... Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to need to get rid of all these bloody roads, aren't I? Because they are currently not quite the way they should be. So, what I want to do is select this height and extend. Okay, get rid of that as well. And then, uh, oh, for God's sake. Uh, and then, of course, go ahead and extend the height down to the edge there to where it needs to be. And there we go, there we go, and there we go. So, that should all now work if I want to do the roads along here the way they were. There we go. All right, much better. There we go. So, that is... A series of roads using the correct street lights. 
Do I maybe want to change the street lights around here? Also, do I maybe want to use... I mean, I could totally use the pedestrian... Oh, no, I can't really change these because it'll turn into a bloody bridge, won't it? That's very strange, seeing the pedestrian road as a bridge there. That is, uh, that is very strange indeed. It is the size of a road, though. And it would be interesting to have that road go down there and not uh, have... Potentially not have pedestrians walking on it. Although I think it looks a little bit too strange for my liking. What I will perhaps do is one-way roads. So one road, this one maybe go, this one maybe comes in, that one maybe goes out. That could work. Now I think this should be the, this should be the in-road. So let's do this and let's set this to have the cold white streetlights. So we'll do that as the in road there. Then this one's going to be the out road. So flip that around like so. There we go. So that one goes out. This one comes in. And uh, that lets the industrial area hopefully function. That would certainly be interesting anyway. And I realize I can actually go ahead and do this. And that I can go ahead and do this. And that'll fill out some of that zoning. It'll look a little bit strange, but it should be okay. Okay, let's let that run and see what happens. Okay, well, the area's not looking too bad. It's filling out a little bit. I do think I want to put in some details, though. And I think, I mean, really all I need to do is just put in lots of lights and stuff. And if I go to nighttime, I mean, you can re you can see that the lights, you know, they are certainly interesting for setting areas off a little bit. But uh, at the same time, I mean, it's, it's peculiar. Something I would be interested in trying, though, perhaps, is if I could drain the water from this area and then put some lights on there and have them shine up onto... Uh, this sort of dock. That'd be very interesting indeed. Uh, though something I guess I could do, if I can potentially get these to shine the correct way, is sort of have the lights illuminate the cliff a little bit. Which could certainly be interesting, but I think I... I may go as far as putting some of these, uh, little red lights along here, because they, they flash and they're kind of interesting. They're really small as well, good lord. Those are a lot smaller than I thought they were, never mind. I think I will pass up on those. Uh, I don't think I really need to worry too much about using red uh, floodlights for anything, to be honest. Don't think that's something I'm particularly keen on. Not the nicest looking design. Uh, I could certainly light up an area in an interesting way with some red uh, floodlights. That's uh, certainly an interesting look. It definitely looks cool, but again, not uh, something I think is entirely necessary so uh, I think I will pass on that though I will absolutely go ahead and put in some uh, details using industrial uh, items I suppose so there's nothing really going on down here so I guess the best thing to do would be create something that just looks sort of industrial you know put some of these about uh, make a uh, bit of a container space or something. So something like that, just a few containers uh, beside each other to just make it look like something's going on. You know, I can put some boxes in there. Those are bloody big boxes. Um, you know, put some boxes about there as well if I really want to, uh, just to, you know, set the area off a little bit, put a barrel there, a couple of barrels there as well. It just makes the area look like, uh, it's used, and those are bloody big planks, too. Good lord. What the hell is this? This is a uh, concrete support. Or something, I suppose. Uh, we'll chuck that there as well. But there you go. Even that is just uh, a little bit of detail to fill out the area. Which I I quite like, you know? I, I like this, uh, this kind of thing. I'll chuck a couple of these about here. What else have we got? We've got some fences. I'm not too worried about those. Uh, I could do... I can do miscellaneous things, like this is random industrial prop. That's some stacked barrels, that's some broken planks that I'll put over here. 
That's some more broken planks that I'll chuck over here. Because why not? Some more broken planks. Uh, there's some more stacked barrels. Uh, there's more of those non-broken planks, which I guess could go there. Chuck a few bar- what the hell's that? I think that's just garbage, so I'll just chuck it, like, back there. But even that just sort of sets the area off a little bit. And just makes it look kind of nice. Like, if I put a load of that along there just to, uh... It even looks like a construction site, really. It looks like a sort of... A bit of a mess of a construction site, but a construction site nonetheless. So if I did that, those connect together kind of nicely. There's more broken planks. Like, it just... It looks good. I think this is something I may do off camera, though. Because this is going to take way too bloody long. What the hell is this? That's uh, a roof platform. Okay. Yeah, th this is something that I can see taking way too much time. So this may be something that I time lapse in the next episode. Because I did say I wouldn't do any in this one. But uh, I'm definitely liking how this is looking. Those containers feel a little bit small though. Like I will say those containers definitely feel quite small. But I guess that's alright. I I guess I can make that work. Have we got anything else I could use here? I've got some trash cans. I've got some uh, miscellaneous bits and pieces. I've got benches as well. I can always use uh, benches and stuff like that, but I think benches may be a little bit much. We have, obviously have lighting. We have some stuff from the uh, various residential lots, whatever the hell this is. That's a grill, which is uh, interesting. What else have we got? Uh, obviously, nothing in these. Those are all just trees. We've got signs, which... I guess I could put some signs down. I mean, we've got these, which are very clearly, uh, you know, billboards of some description. So I could always chuck those, like, even there to uh, have some advertising down here. You know, it just fills out space. Yeah, I, I think I'm quite happy with this, to be honest. I reckon what we'll do is... At the start of the next episode, we will have a nice hefty time lapse of doing lots and lots of detailing uh, around this area. We'll sort of finish it off and uh, possibly do some terraforming on the island just to make it look a little bit more natural. Because uh, everything's a little bit too smooth right now. I'll give you an example of what I think I would like to do. Basically, this area, for example, I would chop into it a little bit and kind of smooth it and just chop into it a little bit more and smooth it just to make it look like... Uh, you know, there's some erosion going on. I'd maybe bring some of the land out a little bit. So, you know, bring that out a little bit. Uh, like that. Bring that out a little bit too. Uh, smooth those off, of course, to make them a little bit less jagged. But then you kind of get the idea that there's uh, at least some level of erosion going on there. If we let the water sort of uh, do its thing, you'll see it'll just fill up that space in a little bit of a different way. And it just makes the island look a little bit less, uh, perfect, I suppose. I just, I kind of like that, you know? I kind of like the idea that it wouldn't necessarily be perfect. I did that over here with these two little, uh, bits there. So you can sort of get the idea, and, uh, I think that's something I will do, especially on this side, because this is all very perfect right now as well. This I'm happy with, but, uh, obviously going to need to add in lots and lots of props and trees and a way to mask this, uh, very ugly cliff face. Also, how does... Ah. Now, that's interesting. The uh, vehicles that come in have to go around that way. That's a little bit annoying. Might be an idea to... Uh, it might be an idea to turn that into a one-way road. Although, that's absolutely going to bridge, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's not good. I'm not much a fan of that, to be honest. Maybe if these guys had to turn left if they want to get anywhere... Uh, no, because then they have, no, I'm just going to let them do their thing. I don't like that they have to turn left out of this, but there isn't really anything I can do. Anyway, folks, I think I will leave it there. We have a lot of shipping traffic coming in here. I, uh, I do think I will leave it, uh, there. We're having some problems in the rest of the city. It looks like there's a little bit of a death wave potentially cropping up. Uh, there is a fair bit of unemployment across the city as well, which is something we will have to solve. But, uh, yeah, start of the next episode. Nice hefty time lapse to finish off all of these islands and uh, finally get back to working on other parts of the city because I'm very happy with how this is looking. All I need to do is change the road layouts a little bit and detail it. So we will get that done. But until then, 
I've been the Conflict Nerd, this has been City Skylands After Dark, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!